Hi, I'm King R70. Today's topic is women never let a man use you. Okay, that's right. You heard me right. Women never let a man use you. Why? Because if a man tells you, all right, let's say you met somebody a few weeks ago and y'all hit it off, you into him, he's into you, y'all changed phone number, y'all went on a few dates, and then after the third or fourth date, you asked her to be your woman, you and she became exclusive with you, and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, after being with the guy for about two or three or four or five months, the guy finally come out. Now, some guys will come out and tell you how they really are. He'll say something like, look, I want you to know that I like to mess with other women as well, okay, while I'm in a relationship with you. Don't accept that, because if you say you agree with it, and then when it comes time for him to go out and do his thing while you're not around or whether you around, all right? So basically, he held on to the information for about three or four or five months and finally told you, all right, that's still lying to you. That's still misleading you, okay? Because he is not 100% uh, percent, uh, sure that he really want just only one woman. Now, some people believe, all right, and they respect the guy for his honesty, all right? Now, some people or some women or some guy believe, well, at least he told her what he really is. It still don't make it right, okay? Because it's too many disease going around, all right? Even though he told you how he really is and he's a player, basically what I'm saying to you now is if he wants you, you want to be in an exclusive relationship with you, basically you're not enough for him, okay? He wants to screw everything that he can and still have you. It is nasty. It is disease. Don't accept that type of nonsense, okay? It's too many disease going around for you to put your life in jeopardy just because some guy, just because he sounds good and makes a, a certain amount of money or he got swag, all right? Swag doesn't, when, if you get aged, all right, swag is not going to bring you back, all right? If you get aged, money not going to bring you back, okay? All right? His good looks not going to bring you back. Why? Because once you get aged, it's it. You're over. You're done with. Thin all right? You're done. Just like cancer. Just like stage four cancer. Once you get it, sometimes the doctor gives you up because there's no more he can do for you. I'm just telling you for a fact. I never uh, had that type of thing because I don't play that type of game. If a woman tell me she like me, she want me, but yet she telling me out of the blue and she didn't never told me that she want to mess around with other guys, I would kick, I tell her to kick bricks in a heartbeat. And I don't care how good she look, how well she dress. I don't care if you wear your makeup. 25 7. I don't care. Okay. It's not going to intimidate me. Okay. If you're that type of woman, all right, I will tell her to go kick bricks. All right. Yeah, I'm not going to lose anything, but uh, uh, I'm not going to lose sleep. Anything you will lose, you're not going to deal with the thing. You're not going to be dealing with her uh, while she's out messing around with some guy or giving some guy a blowjob while you home or out. A lesson. Now, some people leave. Uh, some people do the same thing. Now, some women do the same thing. Well, since you're doing that, then that's what I do then. I can do that too. All right. I want to mess around too. It's nasty and it's not good. Okay. Never let someone um, trick you in uh, and accepting what he like. Okay. It's not a good thing for you to accept what he do. All right. So that's why I made this video tonight. All right. Never let a man manipulate you and telling you what you need to do for all that thing enough for you to be in a relationship with him. You don't have to be in a relationship with him. If he's going to do that, you need to let him go. Okay. I don't care how good he look, how much money he make, what kind of car he drive. It ain't that much. It ain't that much car. It ain't that much a uh, fine car in the world or money in the world that he makes or how good he looks for you to get A's. Because once you get A's, it, it's a wrap. Okay. It's a wrap. You're done. All right. It's a done deal. And sometimes the doctor can't do anything for you, but to give you up and then that's it. You're dead. Okay. Why? Because you allow this idiot, all right, to tell you that what he gonna do, regardless whether you like it or not, he gonna mess around with other women. Why you wondering and figuring out where he at at the moment? All right. You don't need to put up with that nonsense. Tell that man to go kick rocks, just like any other man. Don't be scared to kick the man to the curb. If someone cheating on you, you kick him to the curb. All right. Pull yourself up by your bootstrap. And forget about this clown, okay? Because all he does is bring you heartaches, all right? You don't need it, all right? You better than that. You are somebody. Somebody will appreciate a good woman that works hard. Somebody will appreciate a good woman who's on her purpose. Somebody will treat a good woman who wants to cook. 
out of out of curiosity. All right, what I mean by curiosity, a woman that go cook without you saying anything. All right, that's a virtuous woman. All right, you don't have to make a woman do anything. If a woman know that a man is out, he's a good man. He works. He don't cheat on her. He treats her like a queen. He go, she go cook for him regardless, even if she's tired. Okay, even she, if she's tired, not one of those women that I want the man to do all the cooking. That's not a woman. All right, that's somebody who thinks she need to be panther, get a lot of money spent on her and for the man to cook. I don't think so, all right? All right, that's a real decker for me, okay? Now, if you sick, I understand, yes, I cook for you. But no, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna be doing all the cooking all every day while you sit back, no, because those days are not for, for a woman to sit back, all right? Cause everybody want to feel that they're a leader in some while, all right? So here's the thing with some women. They want a man to lead them, but yet they want, the man to do the both job. They want the man to lead and to cook. You can't have it both ways, okay? Now, if the man want to cook all the time, then that's on y'all. That's between y'all relationship, okay? I'm just letting you know, all right? If a woman wants to act as though she wants to be as the head, as the man, and she wants the man to lead and still do all the cooking while she sits back and um, hang out with her girlfriend, get her nails done, or whatever she desired to do with herself, or focus on writing a damn book, or whatever she might be doing. Okay, that's not wrong doing none of those things. But God made you the helpmate for the man. All right. And why are you taking the full advantage of the situation? Okay. So likewise, same way. All right. So if a man decided to tell you up front, this is what I am, this is what I do. If you don't like it, there's a the dough. Basically, what he's saying to you is, women, if you don't like it, and I'm coming out and I'm being direct, telling you. This is what I'm going to do still, all right? Even though you're a good woman, even though you're a woman with a head on her shoulders, you make a lot of money, you got your finance in order, you know what you're doing, all right? It doesn't matter. I am going to do what I got to do, and I'm still going to mess around with other women. If he does that, you need to kick him to the curb like a bad habit, all right? Don't be scared to kick any man to the curb, whether he's a belt, whether he's a bad boy, all right? Whether he's a good man, a jerk, it doesn't matter. Well, he's a high value man. It doesn't matter if he come with that nonsense crap, blue pill, red pill, bull crap, which is a YouTube dumb mythology crap. All right. Kick them to the curb. OK. Men's these day want to manipulate women because they feel, well, women only want you. They want a baby. You go to what's wrong with you. God told you to be fruitful and multiply. Now, I'm not saying go out and get some random woman pregnant. That's not what I'm saying. OK. God say in his word. For you to be fruitful and multiply. That's to say, have many kids as you want. Some guys believe a woman can trap a man uh, having a baby and then that's it, okay? You all, how you think you got here, okay? If your mom and dad didn't have intercourse, you wouldn't be here, all right? So who the hell you think you are walking around with your nose up, with your little, with your little uh, little $500 car payment every week? No one cares, all right? In your little lecturer's apartment. No one cares, all right? It's just materialistic. Who cares, all right? Who cares about what you got, all right? all right? So don't let these men manipulate you or what you got. Now, there's nothing wrong if you work hard every day and every year, year round. There's nothing wrong getting a decent car. Now, that's not what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong having a decent place to live in, and that's not what I'm saying neither. But I'm talking about those men like to manipulate women with their little wealth and the little success that they succeed. And then they think, they think they're a gift to God's women, all right? They think, well, I can tell this one right here to kick rocks. If she don't like my plan, what I want, she got to go, okay? Because I'm going to mess around regardless. I'm going to mess around with other women regardless of what she says. You better kick his to the curb. Kick him hard, then you can kick him, all right? Kick him like a football. Kick him over the field goal, over the reach over the goal, and let him hit the other side of the balcony, okay? Get him out of here. You don't need that nonsense from, from him, okay? I'm just letting you know, uh, don't deal with the men who love to manipulate women, all right? You are better than that, all right? Where have y'all been You allowing guys to do that to you, okay? Never let a man do that to you because if you let a man do that to you, he, you're basically giving the guy uh, full, uh, full control over you, okay? Never let him do that to you. Never, ever, ever let him do that to you, all right? Because if you allow a man to do that to you, he basically will do it over and over and over and over and over and over, okay? Over and over and over and over. Don't allow him to do that to you. All right. So watch out for these guys who like to manipulate women over silly things. All right. And he don't give a, 
a rest but about how you feel about things. If a woman allowed a man to do that, all right, he basically uh, try to allure you to accepting what he like to do, all right, then you actually uh, deserving something better than what he, how he's treating you, okay? You don't need nobody to treat you like that. Find you somebody that go to do right by you, okay? Find somebody that go to uh, love you and respect you, all right? So don't don't get with somebody who will dis, who go disrespect you, okay? Never get with somebody who will disrespect you like that, all right? Because if you get with somebody that disrespect you like that, all right, he basically go to um, use you to the best of his ability, all right? And he don't care how he feel about you, all right? He don't care how he feel about you at all, all right? That's why I tell women uh, to watch out. Watch out for these guys. These guys are snake in the grass, all right? They don't care about you. If he did care about you, okay, if he did care about you, he wouldn't do these things, all right? He wouldn't come up with this nonsense thing about uh, um, telling you you need to accept what he does, telling you that you need to accept what he do, all right? And if you accept what he do, all right, shame on you, all right? Shame on you. Don't allow him to do that to you. Don't allow any man to do that to you. If you allow a man to do that to you, he take full advantage of the situation. All right. And that's why I came here uh, tonight to let you know not to let him manipulate your mind. All right. Into doing something that you not really uh, uh, want to do and be acceptable. All right. Don't let him do that to you. You are better than that. All right. You are better than he is. All right. And you don't have to take a back seat for nobody. All right. All right. So you need to uh, watch out how the guys treat you. All right. Watch out how he treats you. And tell him to go kick rocks. All right. Tell him to go kick rocks. And if you tell him to go kick rocks, he wouldn't have time uh, to do this manipulation game towards you. All right. He would never have time to do that. All right. So that's why I can't make the video today. All right. I know uh, it is it's Thanksgiving night, but I say I'm going to be back. I just came from eating from over my sister's house at a nice dinner. So I will go live for about 15 to 10 minutes. I realize people don't look at this that long. So I am going to cut this very short because I did a video earlier. And I only, uh, some people only watch it seven minutes and 58 seconds. Okay. When you tell people to watch videos in full, they don't watch them in full. But uh, even in real time, even if you go look at your lentils, it'll tell you how long people stay into the chat. All right. Okay. But that's why I, I try to get people to uh, stay into the chat, all right, and not get out of it, all right? So watch out for these guys, and don't allow them to do things to you that uh, it will affect you. It could affect you if you allow the person to do so, all right? And that's why I tell people all the time, watch out for these uh, for these people. Watch out for them. Don't let them, um, don't let these guys do this to you, okay? Don't let them get, don't let them do this to you at all, all right? Don't let them do this to you at all, um, all right? Don't let them do this to you at all because if you allow them to do this to you at all, they will continue to do so, all right? They will continue to do so. Hi, Ron, Ron Mass, how you doing? Thanks for coming to the chat, all right? Thank you so much, all right? So don't allow them to do um, the exact thing that they will continue to do to other women, all right? They do other things to allow you. Uh, I see I got haters coming in here. All the time, I got haters coming in here, right? Haters giving me dislikes. You just can't wait till I go alive to give me a dislike, don't you? Keep giving me no dislikes, all right? All right, so don't don't let why well, um, don't let them um, um get to you, all right? Because any man who sit here and tell a woman what he going to do, all right, okay? He basically try to manipulate you and telling you, this is what I'm going to do, whether you like it or not, all right? And if you allow him to do that, okay, he just going to keep doing it, all right? Because you allow him to do that to you, all right? And what do you expect, all right? What do you expect from somebody who try to uh, force you into something that you really don't want to get into, all right? Don't allow nobody to do that to you, all right? Don't allow somebody to do that to you. Uh, watch out for those people, all right, who uh, does that, all right? So I ain't going to be here that long. I'm going to be here for about uh, 15 minutes, and then I'm going to um, cut the live uh, about 15 minutes short because I realize people don't really watch the whole uh, 20 minutes live, all right? So I, that's why I said I come about 15, 20 minutes, and then and then, and then then leave from there. And then probably I'll come back later tonight and do an all-night-nighter, all right? 
uh, about four, about a couple of hours, something like that, into the chat. All right. But thank you guys for coming in. I appreciate you all. All right. So don't let a man do that to you. All right. Don't let him manipulate you, telling you that you got to uh, follow his plan, follow what he likes to do, because he's only looking out for himself and he's very selfish of what he do. All right. And these kind of guys, you want to stay away from them. Okay. You want to stay away from these type of guys. You don't want them. Don't get them a benefit of a doubt all right, of, of anything. Okay. Watch out for these guys because they like to manipulate. Okay. Manipulate, manipulate. And that's why I made this video uh, to tell women to be alert or be on alert for these guys. Excuse me. Uh, be on alert for these guys. So you got to watch out for them. All right. Watch out for them. And um, after I finish this live, I'm going to work on some, some combos that I got made up for my channel. I got to get them. Uh, um, I got to work on um, uh, Aquaman channel. I mean, videos and stuff like that. Um, so be careful. Watch out for these kind of people. All right. And uh, don't let them um, um, strain. What? Don't let these guys strain you into doing something that you that you're not comfortable with. Okay. Don't let nobody strain you into anything that you don't feel comfortable with. All right. Tell them to go kick rocks. I tell I tell women all the time. Tell guys to go kick rocks. All right. Tell them to go kick rocks. Don't allow them to um, to um, come in and make and make you do something that you're not really uh, feel uh, certain of. All right, certain of I would say certain. All right, because if you do allow him to do something uh, certain that you're not really into, then you're gonna find yourself into something that you really don't want to. All right, so that's what I'm trying to say to you. Uh, don't allow any man uh, in a race, doesn't matter what color he is to tell you what he going to do and what you better accept, okay? You don't have to accept anything uh, but to stay black and die, okay? Or whatever you, whatever your race are, all right? Don't let them do that, okay? Don't let him take advantage of you, all right? And that's why I came here tonight to tell women, don't let that man do that to you, okay? Don't let him do it at all. So I've been live for about 17 minutes and 25 seconds to the chat. I'm going to go live for about 17 minutes. And uh, I am going to do an all-night-nighter. I hope the internet don't mess up. So I'll be, uh, start streaming live where uh, I start being on. Uh, I have a, I had a new Bible audio set up, but I had to delete it because I had music uh, copyright in the background. So I'm going to have to redo it over. Uh, I won't record it tonight, but I, I, re I record it fresh for tomorrow. It'll be a new Bible audio. I didn't want to tell you why I'm live. I will go surprise you when I let my, my live run. So I got a new audio recording from the Bible for myself. It's my own recording, my own teaching. All right. I don't, I don't, I don't have to worry about nobody trying to copyright what I what I teach because they don't teach the way I teach. Uh, I don't think I know everything, but they're not on my level. All right. Because when I study, I study like as I was in college. I study like I go back to college. All right. And I study as I am already in college. And I study like I'm teaching a Bible, like I'm teaching a, uh, a college class. All right. That's how I study my work. That's how I like to study God's word, chapter by chapter and verse by verse. Smash that like button if you haven't already smashed that button to the chat. All right. Um, I got to tell you, watch out for guys who does these kind of thing, women. All right. Make sure if you meet somebody and he may not tell you right at the moment. All right. But he'll probably tell you some way later down the line. Love, that's something I got to tell you. And if he's telling you that he still go mess around with other women and try to have you at the same time, tell him no. I don't know. You break it off with that guy. I can't tell no, can't tell people who to date, but I can sure give you some advice. Tell them no, because too many disease going around for you to jeopardize your health, all right, in dealing with this nonsense, all right, and getting HIV uh, virus, which is nothing to play with, and, and the doctor give you a couple of months to live. You don't want to deal with that, okay? Tell him no. You don't deal with that. You don't go that way, all right? Tell him no. You don't go that way at all, and then you let him know that you're not going to uh, do something that make you feel uncomfortable, all right? Don't do it. Don't do it. Tell them no. You're not going to do it at all. That's how you can um, tell guys that you're not going to deal with the nonsense, all right? So tell him no that you're not going to do it, all right? That's all. That's what you got to do to these guys who try to manipulate you. Don't give in to his, uh, to his nonsense, okay? Never give in to his nonsense. So if you give in to his nonsense, it goes just only gonna get worse and worse. 
on a worse and worse. All right. So I see I got a lot of haters. Why y'all hating on me? Why you coming here and give me dislikes? All right. Uh, I know who you are. So keep giving me dislikes. All right. I will find you. <laughs> all right. I will find you. But that's all right. Dislikes is a dislike. A view is a view, right? All right. Keep giving those dislikes because uh, it ain't going to stop me from going live. All right. I'm going to go live regardless. All right. doesn't matter to me. All right. So anyway, watch out for these uh, people. It's probably somebody that know me and not going to say anything in the chat. All right. That's why you don't say anything in the chat because you know what you're doing is wrong. All right. But keep giving those dislikes. All right. Keep on giving those dislikes because you try to kill somebody uh, videos. All right, but it is what it is. All right, it is what it is. All right, because see, I let it bother me. Then you go keep doing it all the way. But see, you keep on doing them. You only can do it for so much. All right, because I'm not gonna pay you no attention. All right, I'm looking right at your dislike that you're giving me. All right, okay, all right. So anyway, I'm not gonna be that long. That's why I'm looking down at my phone because I'm looking at all the looking at how many dislikes I'm getting. All right, but anyway, um, watch out for these type of guys. Don't let them. Uh, get to you, okay? Don't let them make you become of something that you not really want to be of, all right? And um, don't let them manipulate your mind at all, okay? Let them know that you're not going to tolerate their nonsense, all right? Let them know that you're not going to deal with their bull crap, okay? That's how you let them know, okay? Uh, thank you guys for coming into the chat. I've been live for about 21 minutes and 30 Six seconds into the chat. I am going to end it. Usually, we don't have that many people into the chat. I usually end it, but I, I got people coming in and out. I have four people coming in. Uh, but thank you so much for coming in to the chat. All right, for this moment. Um, keep watch out. Watch out for the, watch out for these uh, guys who do this to you women. Because if you don't watch out for a guy who does this, all right, I'm just letting you know, you're just heading down the wrong path. All right. And when you hate down the wrong path with these guys, all right, okay, it just gonna make it look bad and bad and bad. All right. You don't want to head down that wrong path with these guys. So watch out for them and don't let them um strain you alone um while you are trying. Teresa, good night. Where you going, Teresa? Where you think you're going? Where you think you're going? You didn't stay that long, Teresa. What's up? What's good? What's happening? How you doing? How was your Thanksgiving? How was your Thanksgiving, Teresa? Your Thanksgiving was good? Yeah, so watch out for these guys. Don't let them do this to you, okay? Uh, I will be back later around about, uh, what time is it? 7.05? I'll be back around 10 o'clock. Don't celebrate it oh okay all right all right all right all right so i don't really I, I couldn't say i don't celebrate it i'm not really big on it like i used to when i was little and i'm not a jibble witness it does that uh uh you know it does every day should be a thanksgiving day look at my video that i made this morning i wanted to make another one but uh i'm gonna do this on an audio all right i'm gonna do it on an audio and then i'm gonna put it out on a video yeah i think an audio will be better because you you get a chance to play it back Listen to it, all right. Yeah, I didn't eat that much anyway. Yeah, I can't eat that much because when I lost that weight, oh my god, it's crazy, right? Yeah, all right. So, yeah, so don't let you guys do this to you, all right? Don't let a man uh do this to you at all. If it ain't really good to you at all, he basically you basically giving him power. All right, and he you gave him power to manipulate your mind. All right, and that's why I made this video tonight to let you women know not to do it. All right, don't do it. If he tells you he wants to do this, you tell him to go pound sand. Why? Because you're not gonna get involved with that nonsense of what he's doing. Okay, and um, watch out for him. Uh, a new video coming out this Sunday is uh is an Injusta League character. Uh, uh, it might be um, Aquaman or Nightwing, all right? One out of two. I think Aquaman will get a lot of attention. Uh, or Nightwing. It's kind of like Nightwing is kind of like a uh, like a Robin character, like Batman and Robin character, all right? I'm, I have two choices to make: Nightwing or or Aquaman from the Super Superman series, uh, from the Super Friends, 
back in the day when the cartoon was, you know, was real big, stuff like that. So I, that's what I'm doing. So I might do that. So I'm gonna release that combo uh, um, this coming Sunday. And I normally wait about a week before I upload another combo. All right, but my um, you know my other video is doing good. Okay, it is what it is. So I decided to go ahead and do another one so it can help me out. And tonight I am going to run. The rest of the night I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be in front of the camera. So I'm gonna let it run until I get up and go to work tomorrow. I don't have to be to work until nine o'clock, so I get to sleep in. But my light, I, my light will be able to run until about seven o'clock in the morning or eight o'clock. All right, or maybe seven thirty. Yeah, I let it run till like seven thirty, and then I stop it, and then I come back. I come back to you live tomorrow, uh, before you tomorrow, uh, to bring you another uh, a, a lecture or whatever. Right. So that's what I do. So I've been live for about 25 minutes and 56 seconds into the chat. All right. Um, thank you all for coming in. Uh, if you want to come back, if you want to come back at uh, nine o'clock, come back because I will have a, uh, a, a Bible thing going on while I sleep. All right. OK, so come on back and sit in. Give me give me about if you can give me uh, 40 minutes of your time. All right. If you can come back and set. All right. I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have an all night nighter going on. It'll be uh it'll be on repeat, okay? Because I'm not gonna keep getting up and turn to the next uh next uh lashing, all right? Or I'm gonna have them set up where it can uh advance to the other uh thing. I might can have it set up like that. We can advance when it get done with one, it advance to another teaching, all right, or something like that. All right. Or sometimes I'll keep it on repeat and it'll repeat the same lecture. All right. So I do got a new recording I gotta do. All right, and then I'm um going to be different recording. That way you don't have to be listening to the same recording over and over and over. Uh, my thing was before I went live back on YouTube, every day I used to do a recording. I used to do like, I used to do about five or six of them in a week. And that's how I ended up with a bunch of recording. All right. And I took my time and I do my homework on them too. I don't never rush them. So I do got one coming up, uh, a couple of them coming up, and um I can't tell you what it is. I will start releasing them on audio chat. I might make podcasts out of them too, so you can enjoy them, all right? So thank you for coming in here. Uh, have a good night. I am going to uh, do an all night nighter. I'll come back later around nine o'clock or 9.30. I'm going to have it up and um, I'll have it Bible teaching uh, all night. It's on repeat. It's on re re repeat. Okay, so that, that, way, that way you know what it is, all right? That way you don't have to be sitting here. Why do you keep playing the same thing? So you can see the title saying repeat, okay? So thank you for staying into the chat. Good night, Teresa. Good night, Ron Ross. And, and shout out to the person who's watching. I don't know who you are, but good night.